Hey, welcome. Whew. Goodness gracious, it's one of those things where I just feel like, did I, did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Yes, I did make it. Hi, Tom Sinclair here with Streaming Idiots. Coming to you live on Wednesday afternoon, January, what is it, January 13th already? Well, that's it. It's the 13th. Uh, hard to tell, but I think the USA Internet has gotten racked with outages, especially on the East Coast, which is where one of our servers is. Uh, we also have a server in Kansas City for our low definition, our 180 feed, and I think that area got, got some trouble too because we can't, haven't been able to connect there. So we finally were able to connect through a server on the West Coast. Fortunately, with DeCast, we have an opportunity to select what servers we go through and uh, actually tried to send the low, 80, the, low, the low feed, the 180 feed, through uh, a Europe a, a European server, but uh, was not able to make a connection there. Yeah, probably a language barrier, you think? Um, anyway, glad to be on the air today. Uh, really interesting stuff going on. We've made some changes here in the studio. Uh, first off, you may notice, if, you're, if, you, if you've seen this show before, is that I'm not wearing my earbuds. Um, I've actually got a whole different way of doing audio today, which has really got me uh, nervous, to say the least. Um, but I think it might, it might just do well. Um, and we'll get to that in just a second. We also have the, uh, the lighting that we changed prior to last week's show, and then I, t I, <laughs> I tried to tweak the cameras and ended up being red in the face. Um, the, uh, the, the YouTube video, and by the way, hat tip to those of you that are watching on YouTube. We, we're glad to have you with us, and, and we hope you subscribe, and in fact, hope you'll come back for a live show. Um, but the YouTube video last week was, was just horrendous. Fortunately, YouTube had some kind of basic, well, not even basic, but some, some good video editing uh, available to me as the uploader of the software. So I went in and was able to, to change the color just a little bit. So if you happen to watch this show a lot, you may have noticed that the background was a little darker blue, and that's how I was able to sort of tweak out some of the red there. Uh, in the recording. So uh, we went, went ahead and modified, uh, the, the, actually changed some settings on the camera and changed some settings in vMix. And basically this should be an unaltered shot. This should be exactly what the camera is showing without any tweaking, other than the chroma key, of course. Um, so that's just sort of a little, uh, little side note to get, get started today. Really excited because we finally have the ability uh, to put out the, the new talk show system that we've been working on probably, I'd say, at least in t since maybe August or even July. Um, got a call from, from a podcaster on the West Coast who said, Tom, you know, love what you're doing, want to start doing video, have a studio where we uh, have guests in the studio with us, and, you know, hey, I'm a podcaster. I don't want to switch cameras all the time. What can you do for me? And I said, you know, there's got to be something out there that, uh, that will do that for you. And I searched around a lot just trying to find, actually what I was trying to find was a way to make a software like vMix um, or Vid Blaster or Wirecast or whatever. If there was some way to have the cameras auto switch based on activation of a microphone. So if you've got, let's say you've got four folks in the studio, you and three others, as, as somebody talks on their mic, boom, it switches the camera to them. Kind of like, um, what is it, uh, Google Hangouts. You know how it'll automatically switch uh, from, from camera feed to camera feed, from your camera feed to somebody else's camera feed based on the activity on the microphone. And I said, there's got to be something out there. And sure enough, I found out that a couple of brothers up in Norway had written something, and actually it was written for vMix. And what it did is it listens to the various audio devices in your computer, and based on that, allows you to set up a trigger to change over to a, a particular camera. So you could have, you know, maybe you've got four audio devices coming into your PC. And I'll get to that in just a second. That was a challenge. And, um, and each one of those audio devices could be attached to a camera, and it need not necessarily be the audio that's coming through that camera. 
Um, and somebody in the, in the in the forum says, "Yeah, that software is out there." And I, I saw it on the VMix forum. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And we uh, just just last night uh, sewed up uh, exclusive distribution rights in the Galaxy for the, for this software. Up until that time, I think the the, the guys that developed it had sold maybe three copies. Um, and uh, I just think it's an unpolished gem. One of the problems that we're having um, that, that we had to overcome, and I don't want to belabor the point and get into too much technical part of it, but is, uh, is, is simply audio devices. If you're running a mixer, like, like I'm running a mixer here, uh, or at least I was before today, and I've got all I've got everything going into the mixer. I've got I've got the audio from vMix from all the videos. I've got uh, my Skype audio goes in there. If I've got a Skype guest, um, if I'm running more than one mic here in the studio, that goes into the mixer. And so what the mixer sends to the PC is one signal. Well, technically it's two because it's stereo. It's left and right channels, but it's one audio input into the PC from the mixer. Now, yes, I, I have done a mix minus with my Skype guys and sent out an auxiliary from the mixer to the PC and plugged that in. You know, the, the, my mixer, it's the uh, Behringer X1204 USB, so it plugs into the PC USB and it can send its stereo channels into the PC over the USB uh, connection. And I was able to then send mix minus to the line in connection on the PC, so I was able to do two different things. And I guess I could have added uh, that uh, Behringer UM, uh, uh, UCA202, that's the USB sound card, plugs in USB, and then it's got you two, uh, two ins and two outs. I think they're RCA jacks. I've got one around here somewhere. Um, and I thought, you know, that's just a little cumbersome. What I want is I want one device that I can plug into the PC that'll give me up to four audio devices so that I can connect to the PC by USB but it's going to bring in four stereo audio devices so that's eight eight different channels um, and that that the answer to that was the Behringer UMC 404 HD which is a computer any computer audio interface um, let's see I've got it here on the desktop let me just give you a quick look at it. There it is. That's it today. Plugged in with four mics on the input and the USB on the output and then power. Um, and I'm not monitoring this directly. I'm <laughs> I won't even tell you how I'm monitoring. I'm monitoring it through my, through my mixer over here, but that's cheating. Um, and so right now, my Audio-Technica uh, AT897 shotgun mic which is which is overhead which is right up there right next to that camera is coming through the Behringer and it's set about um, set about three o'clock on the gain control and comes into vmix as an ASIO audio input now ASIO is a whole different creature. If you're in the, if you come from the music world, uh, recording via computer, you you understand ASIO because it's a low latency driver that that kind of operates below uh, Windows audio drivers, so that it, it doesn't have all the overhead that a Windows audio driver has. That's my my idiot's understanding to to ASIO drivers. But the other thing with an ASIO driver is ASIO drivers are stingy. They don't share. A Windows audio driver, you can pick it up in vMix, you can pick it up in other software uh, running on the same computer at the same time. Everybody can pick up the audio. But with an ASIO driver, the first person to get that, that audio, kind of like video, the first person to get that, that, that driver gets to keep it. And so the problem was if this special software that switches cameras is going to be able to listen it's got to be able to attach to that driver. It's got to be able to, to hear the audio. But if vMix has the audio, then that software won't hear it, have, it won't be able to hear the audio. And oh, by the way, it only hears Windows anyway. It doesn't hear ASIO to, to begin with. Um, although it could. I've talked to a developer and he could do that. But the problem is ASIO doesn't share. So what we had to do is we had to find 
a sharing device and finally found one down in Australia. Yes, our friends down under, uh, again, a different little a little outfit down there that, that has a little utility program that basically allows you to split up ASIO audio and send it all different places. Um, I would demo that today, but <laughs> actually the internet outage kept me from, from downloading the licensed copy of it. Uh, I have the, the demo copy, and I think every, every once a minute for five seconds, it just cuts the audio. So I wasn't willing to, to do that, nor would you want to listen to my audio being cut out every, you know, every 55 seconds. Anyway, so we've, we've, we've got this thing put together. Haven't tested it thoroughly yet, but I'm, I'm really excited because we've got that. We've got all the pieces assembled. Uh, we've got the, uh, we've, we've got the, the software that will switch, that will, that will tell vMix to switch cameras based on different audio connections. We've got the ability, if you've got four XLR mics and you want to plug them in, now they can be they can be live in your PC as four different audio devices. Now you say, well, Tom, what if I had the, uh, the ATR2100 from Audio-Technica, which goes USB or XLR, couldn't I plug four of those into my PC? Yes, you could. Yes, you could, and, and we'll be testing that again soon, too. And then you won't have to have the, uh, the, the special Behringer interface um, and you also wouldn't need the special uh, ASIO converter software. The, uh, the, uh, the vMix audio, audio switching software would work just perfectly without any other help. But if you have, let's, let's, say, you've got a, uh, let's say you've got a studio already and you have invested in you know, two or three Heil uh, PR40s. Well, a Heil PR40 is not going to plug in to... Uh, to your PC via USB, I don't think. I guess you could get an adapter for it. Anyway, there are going to be a lot, lots of different ways to skin this cat, but basically the, the key to this was to have the software that would listen to the audio and based on which mic it heard, it would allow you to pre-program for that to be switched to a particular camera. So really excited about this. For those of you that do a talk show, um, and are interested in, in getting away from the keyboard and not having to be the, uh, the engineer during the show and, and can fulfill your host duties, um, this, this, I think, is going to be a great solution. Somebody asked me as, when I was describing this to them the other day, they said, uh, well, you know, Tom, that's well and good, but what happens when two people start talking at the same time? Ah, well... My, my guys in Norway have thought about that, and basically there is a default or a fallback position. So if the software senses that two people are, or even three people are talking at the same time, it will go to whatever shot you program. It may go to just to the host. It may go to a wide shot showing everybody. Um, but it has the capability to, to think, okay, we've got two people talking now. Let's go ahead and get them both on there. So I can th I could think well you know this would be great if you are are uh, if you're broadcasting a political debate and you've got the ability to to really get in there and and have all four mics you can run them through your Behringer you can put them into your PC um, I mean you basically you're taking a, just a feed uh, for from whatever the the house audio is you're taking a feed from from each one of those mics and bringing them into your system and then letting it go all by itself as it switches from camera to camera. Um, and again, I had set this set up today with, uh, with four different mics attached. Uh, two of them are um, XLR mics. The uh, channel one here is the, the Audio-Technica AT897 condenser um, shotgun mic. The second one is a condenser mic on a headset. The third one is the uh, ATR2100, a dynamic mic, and then the fourth one is another um, condenser mic on a headset. So we've got three condenser mics and a dynamic mic here. You know, a real good combination of, of mics, at least I thought, for this test, but we weren't able to get our, our driver in time. 
to be able to do that. But it's really pretty cool. And I've got, let's see, I've got, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five cameras active in the studio today. So we could have done, if I could have gotten an argument with myself, we would have been able to do one camera for each mic and then a camera for the uh, two or three mics at the same time. So that was going to be a great, it was going to be a great demonstration, great demonstration. But for some reason, oh well. Oh well, somebody in the chat room says we're getting buffering, and I apologize for that. We had uh, some internet outages all around the U.S. today. The uh, the talk show uh, system, as we're calling it, we're going to make available in in two different formats. One format will be kind of a, a software only solution, and that'll include uh, the, the the software, um, and will include a, a part of the, one of those packages will include the the Behringer, um uh, computer interface. So if you've already got microphones and you want to use your microphones, then you you don't have to you don't have to uh, to get the Behringer interface. Or if you know if you if let's say for example you've got a studio and and it's a, a for today and I certainly understand it's a budget studio and you've got you've got four USB cams and you say well I just want to take the 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 audio off the cams that might work. You know the 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 cam microphones. Uh, tend to be especially like this the C920. It's got it's got a stereo mic on it, so it's going to be picking up audio from a, a pretty good distance. So the software may not work right because it it may it may think you know three mics have the same audio. Uh, so what does it do? It switches to the main shot. The other the other possibility is if you've got a situation where you've got multiple webcams. Um, and you're and you're not using the webcam audio. You're using, um, let's say, you're using the the uh, what do they call it, the, the snowball, um, or you're using a an ATR twenty one hundred or several ATR twenty one hundreds plugged in USB. Then the, each one of those is an individual audio device and would would work just fine with this software. Um, we're also going to sell this as part of a, a turnkey streaming kind of a, a, a talk show streaming system. So it would include the PC, uh, it would include the interface, it would include microphones, um, basically uh, it would include cameras, basically everything you would need to, to have to get off the ground with a talk show. So depending on where you are in the, in the talk show world, you can start out um, with the, the, the whole turnkey system if you haven't really bit the bullet on anything or if you have and you want to get a, a professional system. Uh, that works all the time, which is the kind the only kind we sell. Um, or you've already got a system that you really like, and you just want to add the software. You you can buy it anywhere across the the range right there, and we'll be having that, we'll be adding that to our website um, before too long. Um, speaking of things added to the website, finally, finally, I apologize, we were able to get the Bolt Four up on the website today. For some reason, I think it was the internet. We couldn't get the photographs to uh, to load into the store software. So uh, at least the text is up there. And if you you've been waiting for it to go live in order to get one, they are there. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine regular price, uh, sale, introductory sale price for twelve ninety nine, and uh, we have already shipped one. So that's really really good. Um, Want to give uh, Kevin a shout out. Welcome. Uh, and apologize to all of you guys watching live that are suffering buffering. I suspect it's our our flaky internet today somewhere across the United States. Um, who knows? There could be a denial of service attack uh, that's happening, and and we are an inadvertent part of it. Um, just to give you some idea on the pricing, um, the um, the, the the software the the switching software the audio switching software is is 150. Um, we will have a special on that when we bundle it with VMix, um, and we're going to bundle it with VMix HD, um, and then we'll also bundle it with uh, with uh, VMix HD the audio switching software and the ASIO converting software. If you already have a Behringer uh, UMC 404 HD audio interface or if you don't you want it then we'll 
add the audio interface as part of that package. So that's four different packages, kind of what we would call software only packages. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd say that we would make the Audio Technica uh, ATR2100 microphones available, but, you know, by the time we buy them from a wholesaler and, and sell them to you, uh, they're marked up higher than you can go to Amazon and get them for. So, you know, by all means, go straight to Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you'll, you know, you'll get one in two days. If you haven't seen the, the Audio Technica ATR2100, it is a really sweet little mic. It's XLR and it's USB. You can take your choice. Uh, comes with a neat little stand. Uh, I think it came with a six-foot cable. It's, it's got good sound. If I were starting out as a, as a podcaster today, I would pick this mic because it was you know, $58.25 on Amazon the last time I checked. The, uh, if you're, well, I, I, actually, actually, I can let you hear the mic. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Can I figure out uh, which channel we're on here? We're on channel three. Okay, so I'm going to cut this main mic. And I'll bring in the Audio Technica ATR. This is the Audio Technica ATR 2100. Let's try this. Does this work? Maybe this is better. <laughs> Anderson says, I think it works when it's switched on. Somebody else says, it's the perfect mic for Tom. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So this is the ATR2100. Uh, and as you can tell, it, it's, a, it's a different sound than the, um, than the shotgun mic. You know, the shotgun mic is two feet from my mouth. This is, uh, you know, five inches from my mouth. It's going to be a different sound. I have tested this mic just as sort of a tabletop mic. I haven't tweaked it today, so I, I don't want to get it too far away. I probably would have to adjust the gain. Um, and the, the Behringer um, has got gain control on it. And then actually, vMix has got gain control in it now in the audio f interface. In fact, the audio mixer, each input in the audio mixer has its own gain control. It has its own EQ, it has its own gate, and it has its own compression. So those would be things that you would normally add um, as, as physical devices or as other pieces of software somewhere, uh, somewhere up and down your audio line. Um, I'm thinking that with the ability to use this Behringer um, or even with the ATR2100 going straight into the PC as a U USB mic, that we may be able to eliminate uh, a separate gate device, a separate compressor device, um, and maybe even eliminate the mixer altogether and let the mixing be done in vMix. Now, that's kind of what we're doing today, except we're not <laughs> except, except we're not mixing anything. It's just me and the, uh, and the audio that, that you heard earlier in the intro. Okay, we're going to switch back to the... Um, yeah, I think let's see if we can switch back to the overhead mic. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was the ATR2100. Um, good little mic. Highly recommend it. You know, had I started out with that mic, I might still be with it today. I have set it up overhead in the same spot as my shotgun mic. It is a dynamic mic now. It's not a condenser, condenser mic. The, uh, the shotgun is a condenser, so it tends to pick up a broader spectrum, not a broader spectrum, but a wider uh, area of audio than the dynamic mic. I, I, my, my friend Mike Phillips described this to me as, you know, it's kind of like a flashlight. It's pointing right at your face, and that's where it aims to pick up. The shotgun mic kind of has the same 
uh, capability, which is why they use it in, in movies and TV, but it also pr picks up a lot of ambient noise, which is why my studio today is pretty heavily um, treated acoustically to reduce echo and reflect sound reflection. Um, you know, I've got uh, I've got blankets hanging on the walls over here. I've got carpet hanging on the walls over here. I've got a couple of fiberglass sound panels here. I've got lots of things behind me to to kind of cut down on the audio reflection so that I can use this mic because I like not having a mic. Tom shouldn't have moved his arms. Uh oh, what did I do? Did I break something? Okay. Um, Anyway, okay, so, sorry about that. If you're watching on YouTube, we're having video issues, uh, internet issues today, and I guess I've already said that three times. Um, going back, <laughs> it says it's, it seems to start buffering when I open my arms. Uh, probably starts buffering when I open my mouth. That's when it starts buffering. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, you're not getting any of the buffering, so don't worry about it. Um, the, the talk show system, the PC systems, will start at $29.99 and go up to $42.99, depending on whether or not you, you have you know, vMix already, depending on whether or not you have microphones already, you know, just how you want your system configured. Uh, but we'll be adding that to our, our online store as time goes on. If you have questions about the, the whole talk show system, uh, shoot me an email, Tom at EasternShoreBroadcasting.com, or you can leave it if you're watching on YouTube. You can leave a message here on the YouTube channel. I'm pretty responsive on that. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's pretty cool. It's it it you know there's there's nothing cooler than sitting in front of this. I was playing with it the other night, and uh, you know with two different microphones, talking into this one and then talking into this one. And, and have it switch cameras back and forth. In fact, you can even set the, the levels of audio so it can, be, it, can, it can switch based on a soft sound or if you've got a real loud talker um, and you know, every time he breathes, or maybe you've got a heavy breather, <gasps> um, then, you could, uh, then you could get it to switch um, based on that. Any upcoming guests confirmed is a question in the, in the, the chat room. Uh, we've got them confirmed, but we don't have them confirmed by date yet. We've got Paul Richards coming in from PTZ Optics to talk about the, the cool PTZ cameras. Uh, we've got the red sweater lady, Tracy Goodwin, to come in and, and talk about uh, you know how not to make a fool of yourself <laughs> on audio, uh, which I seem to be a, a good example of. Um, Alan Bunt, the, the VidBlaster uh, macros guru, is coming in. We just have to find a, a, a slot for him. Uh, he's kind of an evenings-only guy, so we may have to do a, a special evening show. Another evenings-only guy is going to be uh, Stephen Haywood with the, the Tech Buzz. Uh, I was on his show last year, and, and you know, doggone it if I just didn't forget to invite him on, or on my show as a return. So... Uh, we're going to have him on real soon, too. Um, and then we probably when, uh, will have some, some sort of guest feeds from the, the show at NAB in, in April. Um, if, you, if you're trying to connect to us on the 180 feed today, that's just down. It's just not going to work. Everything is 720 or, or, or not at all. My apologies on that. Heck, it's not my fault. Um, so coming up, I don't know if we'll have it ready next week or not, but we want to do, I think what we'll do is uh, probably do a recorded video of a talk show, and I'll try to get four people in here with four cameras um, so that we can really sh run it through its paces and then maybe show that during an upcoming show as well as post it individually on YouTube. So if you're interested, that, that'll be coming down the pike. Um, Amnon was talking on Blab about you're bringing him into the same shot. Yeah, thank you, Tommy. That was, uh, we had Amnon on, I guess, was it three weeks ago now? Um, and did a, did a really cool green screen, and, and you know, we were kind of side by side, um, even though we weren't in the same room. And, uh, and in the pre-show, we had each sort of picked a position on the wall that we were going to look at that gave the appearance of looking at the other person. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go back and, and see that one was uh, about two or three weeks ago. 
um, was on the uh, you know, what what happens when the radio station cancels your broadcast. Well, gents, I think we need to wrap it up. We're we're about at our time limit. We're trying to keep shows to about thirty minutes so that you can watch them on your lunch break. And uh, not sure what we're going to do next week yet. Right now, I'm just sort of thrown for a loop from this internet thing. So, <laughs> so hopefully, I'll I'll have my act together and a, and a better idea of what's going on with that. But I appreciate you uh, you tuning in today. If you're watching us live, uh, hang out if you will, and we'll have a little uh, little post show debate. Uh, Dave has got refreshments. He always brings the best refreshments. So, uh, with what was I going to say next? I was going to make sure I had the <laughs> had the show closing done correctly. We'll see. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Tom Sinclair. This has been Streaming Idiots, and uh, boy, don't we ever make that true. Take care. Mm -hmm.